Okay, these are the type that have no ballast in them. Okay, there's an LED fail lamp. It's been there for three years. And here it is, October 2019. Those two bulbs were put in in October 2016. Those get used five days a week. They're on normally about 12 hours a day, weekdays. And so one of them is just turned into like a strobe light. Now I've purposely got one at uh, blue one at 6,500 and the other one's 3,800 and this one just decided to freak out so there you are so I'm gonna go ahead and replace it okay this is the new one I'm putting in got packs of 10 or 12 of these off eBay mystery brand they're all made in China they use no ballast but I had one completely die in another room and this is the second one that's just kind of turned to a flickering and this one says 6,500 and 3,000, 4,000. The one that I put in, I've got labeled as 6,000. So it might be a different batch. Hey, these are the type that have no ballast in them. It looks like the end is kind of blackened. There's the old one I just pulled out. Here's a new one I'm putting in. These actually look like they're the same. Look like they're about the same batch. Okay, here goes a new one in. Looks like it's a lot brighter than the old one. But the other one's flickering. I purposely use two different color temperatures. Just kind of mix them up. Okay, this is my log book on ballast and lamps. I have almost a hundred fixtures in my building. This is fixture number 52. And I started this book about 20 years ago, but some of them I didn't really start putting entries until we had changed things out. In this, up, in this one area we had color corrected bulbs, chroma 50s, and those were T12s with magnetic ballast. Then I went to electronic ballast with it were for T12, which are kind of, those really weren't used that much. And then I went through and changed T8s in 2012 with the old fluorescent bulbs. And then I pulled the ballast in 2016 and put LEDs with two different color bulbs. And here I just replaced the uh, blue one here. So this way I can go through and keep track of when the bulbs are, the fixtures, because I've got so many fixtures and stuff that uh, some of them have, aren't really used much, and so there's just a space for them. But we've gone through in a lot of these things and changed the fixtures from incandescent lights to LEDs. Some rooms are barely used, so it's not worth the financial upgrade. But it just helps me keep track of what's what. Just so I don't drive myself crazy, I go mark the old bulb. It was pulled and it's flickered. Just and probably get thrown away, but I might take this apart to see what happened. Probably the circuit board in there, there's probably a bad cap or something for it to kind of flicker like that. So it's marked in case I get them mixed up, I'll put it in a different area.